Jeff Cutshaw, R.C. Whitwell. Row seven, Bursley and Burrow. Green flag in the air this time around. Green flag flies when we come into one and out of turn. Number two, it's going to be Eric Turner, the 99D, or excuse me, the 17 of Mike Striegel. Your leaders, they come around. Terry Schultz, the 90 in that second, going into turn number four. I'll tell you what, the outlaws jumped right on it real quick once again. He'd love to double up on feature wins. Terry Schultz right behind him. Actually picked up our first night as uh, the run right now is with Johnny Fanwell and Eric Turner as they battle for third. Battle for third continues between Eric Turner, the 99T, Johnny Fenwell in the eight. The eight of Johnny Fenwell, the Appleton City, Missouri native. He gets around. He looks to that second spot, Terry Schultz, and he go done. Schultz in the 90. It is Fenwell in the eight. No, last night, uh, Fenwell and Turner had a little problems there. There's no problems tonight as Fenwell is going to separate the two now. Try his best. Terry Schultz also gets in there as Schultz battles for second spot. Fenwell running third, not, not, not yet. Fenwell second, Schultz third, and Turner's in fourth. It is still Striegel, the 17, your leader, but the battle continues for that second spot, the eight of Johnny Fenwell from Appleton City, Missouri, the 90 of Terry Schultz from Sedalia, Missouri, the 99T. That is Harry Turner now coming back around, looking to get back into the chase. Now, Turner's still trying to get in there. Is there green flag as we're all set to go. Green flag back in the air. Green flag flies. We are back underway. It's going to be the 17 of Mike Striegel. The Wheatland Outlaw on the move battle for that second spot. It is the 8 of Johnny Fenwell. Here comes Terry Schultz. Sedalia, Missouri, the 99 of Eric Turner also making a march for the front. I have a strange feeling that Mike Striegel is trying to go back to back with feature wins. As last night was his first feature win in an A mod. He's won in a B mod. Now he's won in an A mod. And Striegel is trying for two real quick. It is Eric Turner on the move with a battle. It is the 21 of Sneep in the Wichita, Kansas native coming around this time through, battling for that fifth spot, trying to catch up with Turner. Sneep trying to put himself in the top five as he gets up there. And now he'll get around uh, the car number four of Ramirez. But the battle right now is actually behind these guys. John Sheets back there in the eight cars. He's starting to get uh, grouped up with two or three others. Chad Lyle's in the mix there in the 96 car as well. As a good run going back there for seventh, eighth, and ninth. Battle continues between the 21C of Cody Sneep, the four of Ramirez as they come around. Man, that is a tough battle. Uh, Ramirez, he got, Sneep got him past, but Ramirez just not wanting to give that up. It is the 99 of Eric Turner in that fort on the behind green flag flies. Here comes Jumpin' Johnny Fenwalls. He got a good run that time out of fours. He'll look to the inside of Schultz side by side. Fenwall trying to make a bid, not going to get the bid that time as Schultz will take over second. Fenwall third, Turner in a four spot. It is Johnny Fenwall uh, looking to get around Terry Schultz. Schultz in that second spot. Fenwald in third. Here comes the 99T of Eric Turner, the boot daddy PFI car as they come around. And right there with him, it is the 21 of Cody Steep, the Wichita, Kansas native. You know, Fenwald kind of take him up to, uh, close to the concrete on that time, but like I said, both good safe driving, good clean driving on each other. Turner going to have to get up there, going to have to make it happen real soon if he's going to get anything out of that. And in the fifth spot, like I said, we got Snape running fifth now in the car number 21 out of Wichita. John Sheets right behind him, and then you got uh, Ramirez following Sheets now. Yeah, it's a 99T of Eric Turner in that fourth spot, but he is looking to the inside of Fenewald as he gets around this time. Now they are side by side going into turn one. Coming out of turn number two, it is going to be the battle continues. Watch John Sheets is like I said, uh, I don't know if he's got uh, what kind of a rebound set up in them shocks, but it's uh, definitely pounding the ground pretty hard there as he's bouncing around a lot. But you know, he's still got a good run going as he's up there in the top seven spots now. Eric Turner, the 99T from Hermitage, Missouri, looking to get around the eight of Johnny Fenewell for that third spot. It is up front. It is still the 17 of Mike Striegel showing the way. The 90 of Terry Schultz in that second spot. Striegel's liking this because those guys can just, uh, they go side by side as long as they want, as long as he can stretch the lead about 15, 20 cards at least now in the lead as Mike Striegel in the 17. Still a battle for second spot. That's far from over. Yeah, the battle for second continues. It is Johnny Fenwell on the high side. The eight car, the 90 of Terry Schultz in that second spot. Schultz now holds him off, shuts the door, going into turn number two. Here comes Eric Turner. Turner on the low side, the 99. Well, like you said, uh, Mike Striegel, Terry Schultz, both those guys with feature wins so far this weekend. They'd both like to see another one, but right now it's looking in its uh, best favor to Mike Striegel. It's 15 laps in a book, 10 laps remain. 
five, as they come around, 15 down. It is the 17 of Mike Striegel. And he, as he comes around, he is your leader in the books. It is 16 down, four to go. Check that. I didn't realize it was going 20 tonight, so I'm getting them some added laps, but it's not going to work because 20 is what you're saying it's going to be. Mike Striegel makes that uh, victory look even closer for him in the 17 now. Like I said, still running in second, Johnny Fennell. Third now, Zarek Turner. Fourth, Terry Schultz. Fifth, John Sheets. Sixth is Chad Lyle. Seventh, Jed Cutshaw. Eighth is the 227 of Chase Domer. Eric Turner and Terry Schultz now with the battle for that third spot. Turner in third, the 90 of Schultz, the Sedalia, Missouri native, in that fourth spot as they come around. It is Eric Turner trying to reel in the eight car of Johnny Fenewall as laps dwindle down two to go this time. You know, Mike Striegel closing in now on the lap traffic cars as like I said, he's uh, doing a good job working on the 29 of uh, the Mod Bomber. It is 25 laps, my correction, as they just told me it showed 20 earlier, but it is still with six to go this time. It is still Mike Striegel, the 17, your leader, the eight of Johnny Fenwell in that second spot. Well, the good thing is it's all green flag laps, and they continue on. Is uh, six more still to make happen tonight. Mike Striegel's making them all happen right now. Fenwell driving her in there good and smooth out of the corners. As uh, Turner in the third spot, Schultz running fourth, Ramirez fifth, Sheets will be sixth, Whitwell seventh. Seventh, eighth cut John, ninth chase Domer, and tenth Jason Bursley now. Johnny Fenewald in that second spot now trying to work up on the blonde bomber Mitchell, the 29 car from Pea Ridge, Arkansas, trying to get around her as they go around. He is trying to keep the 17 of Striegel in his sights. The 99 of Eric Turner is in third as they come around this time. Turner now into turn number three and out of four, trying to keep on to Fenewald. Action still continues here at the Lucas Oil Speedway up in the front. Mike Striegel still the one that they're trying to close in on. He's still yet going through lap traffic, but they've got a lot of work ahead of him as uh, laps actually winding down now. 23 laps as we appear now coming up on the board next time around out of turn four. It is Mike Striegel, the 17 with two to go this time as he comes around your leader into turn number two as he is trying to put some distance between himself and second place the eighth that is johnny fennewald the appleton city missouri native mike went super crazy last night picking up his first win the modified what's tonight going to be we're going to find that one more time around mike striegel your race leader fennewald second third Derek turner now as they come around out of turn number two. It's going to be the 17-year leader. That is Mike Striegel, the Wheatland Outlaw. He's got two more corners to do. He's going to be looking for the checkered flag to fly out of turn number four this time. Guess what? The hands in the air, the waving. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's A feature winner, Mike Striegel, the Wheatland Outlaw. Let's go down to Dave Argerbright. Well, he, this guy throws water all over everywhere, so we're, we're going to keep this camera back here where we're somewhat safe, so... He lives right across the street from the racetrack. He's the track plumber.